Hello, my spooky lovelies. I'm a stitch back for another update, and I'm actually somewhat on time. Um, there's a potential of a uh, jump cut here because it's at night. The little ones are in here asleep. I had to turn the light on. Hopefully, I won't have to turn it off, but if it starts to, that light is going off, and I'll be finished tomorrow. Um, if I seem tired and grumpy, that's because I am. Um, kind of having one of those evenings where it's like, thank god I naturally have low blood pressure, I'll be like, sky high right now. People in my life being helpful. Sarcastically helpful. That's quite sweet. Well, my sofa bed is currently covered in cushions and you know those like uh, fuzzy blankets you can get. Well, and a giant multi-covered caterpillar. That seems like a seven foot long. It's ridiculous. And if you look really, really carefully, you can see an arm. <laughs> it's really hard to see her in a while. It sounds worse than it is, it's actually quite adorable. But yeah, it's been an evening. As you can probably tell, I'm feeling a bit better. I still feel pretty crappy. Like, I know it's not crazy, but I've actually checked like twice. Like it should be going by now. It's it's just a good cold. No, it's got teeth and it's really biting me. But apologies if it sounds a bit low. Um I'm trying to pick up as much as I can for those I thought. Can I actually access settings right now? Tell you what, I'll do that now. Nope. I was kinda hoping that I'd be able to adjust um, microphone back up. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Um, yeah, the cold's like coming in two parts. One where it gives me like really bad brain fog. That's probably the part that's making me really, really sleepy. And the other part where I'm just drained. The brain fog part's not too bad now, but the drained is as bad as ever. Oh, oh well. I don't actually really get to see my hair like this much. I know, I seem like I'm pretty... I'm contemplating just cutting off all the bleach, but I'm also contemplating getting dye. I get bored of being bombed. So, I might say it's been a very productive six weeks. It hasn't. I have managed to get a few things done. I haven't even started doing anything yet today, and it's quarter to ten. Yay. Today is one of them days. So. Hello cats. And oh, don't you hear that? But my back just went snap. That was a good snap too. Thank you. 
it to fun. This is one to it. I'm not sure where the sergeant bag went. But that's what I think it was 117 stitches looks like. That's not really helped, does it? I think I was just going to have to deal with it looking at every day. So, yeah, I haven't actually did that a day or two ago. I haven't put it up on Instagram, I haven't really done anything with it. How from that that's not involved yet. To do list. Oh yeah, and something that I meant to show, well, I meant to talk about in the last video, but dying. And it was all the love in the world, that little boy was getting annoyed. And with the thing he's having to come out and touch everything, he's like, You're so cute, but leave it. I had made a start on this the week. And then some food ended up getting on it. I'm not sure if it was a lady or a common spot because they came over. They're warming the hell up. Um, there's like three of them and they can be a bit much. Personally. I don't that sounds a bit mean but they can be a bit much and they've got this really annoying habit of touching everything without asking. Which is really annoying. But anyway, um, yeah, I started doing this one. <sighs> yoddy yoddy yoddy. Got food rubbed into it. It has now spent like a fortnight or something in a cleaning solution and it's not coming. Uh, I think we just might have to call that one dead. It's only slightly annoying. I wasn't like really feeling it, feeling it. I don't even know if I would have exposed it, like I said. But not me in a lot. Yeah. And then. We found below some more and big news. This is a no page finish. It's these little bits here that kind of look like there's no stitches, so like pearls or something in a hair. Yeah, we have a no finish. So, actually, because there's a black, so I think it's just two pages left in here. That's not three. Maybe it's three, but I think it's more like two. And then that's another row done. But yeah, these two, I don't think they'll be that bad to do. The bike's taking out a large chunk of it. So that's going to really help. I'm a bit whether or not I'm actually going to be able to work on this tonight. Because getting into my stitches spot is going to be a mission, if I'm being perfectly honest. And I don't know if I have the energy. We'll see. Oh, dear God, I'm sorry. I'm going to try. things I want to try and do tonight. But I have to admit I am running low already, so we'll see. That's what I have actually been able to do to a certain degree. It's actually a bit of reading. to read this yesterday. I quite honestly don't know how. Because it's stupid cold, just when I start to feel a bit better, it like hits me again and I feel way worse and 
So yesterday I like got up, I went, you know, I just laid down on the floor and just died. <laughs> compared to how I felt yesterday, I feel amazing today. But compared to how I should, I, I don't feel like death warmed up. There's a bloody milk bottle. Sorry, um, the Little Miss has a Tommy Tippy bottle that I use for when it's like nap time and bedtime. It's like when I say, when you have a milk, it means you go to sleep. Or if you go to sleep. Um, the little witch lost it this morning. I've been looking for it all damn day. Finally found it. I can't leave her alone with anything. But yeah, in case you're interested, before I go into plans for next week. Um, books that I read. We have Lament of the Lamb, Volume 1, Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest, Volume 9, Eden Zero, Volume 14, and Doubt, Volume 2, which is really Volume 3 and 4, because that's really a double volume, and they have a big volume. Uh, let's start off with this one. I actually got this one in a job lot on eBay that was being sold by the British Heart Foundation. A year or two ago, I'm just very slowly working my way through it. Right, I should finish it all by now, but mm, like basic gist. These are an estranged brother and sister, and in the world of this story, there is a very rare blood condition which causes vampirism. Her family knew she had it; they thought he didn't, which is why they were estranged because they separated them in the hopes that he'd be able to lead a normal life with his uncle and aunt while keeping her away from the world to make sure that she didn't go on a murderer's rampage. And of course life never goes that simple and it would appear he's got it too. It was just like sharing in him. Um, as this is me, it is of course a manga. It's not badly written. My one qualm though is the artist isn't very good at actually having the characters look the same across multiple pages. Well, actually, here's a good example. Actually, even just on this one page. Right, take him there. If it will like zero in at all. Hopefully you can get sort of just about from like how he looks there to there. He looks very different. Um, there's a female character in here that... Oh, there she is. Her there that looks quite similar to him and there's times where it's actually hard to tell the two apart. But apart from the at times iffy artwork, and it's not hugely iffy, you know, it's not like in the realms of, and I hate to say this, um, Mob Psycho, because I do quite like the story, but the artwork is rubbish. It actually reminds me a bit of Quentin Blake. I don't know why people bang on about how that is good. It's not. I've never liked Quentin Blake's artwork. I think it's rubbish. But of course, each to their own. So yeah, I don't have volume two. And I honestly don't know if this is still being published. So I guess in volume two could be a bit difficult. So that's gonna be one that I keep my little beady eyes open on maybe that time. So I'm not such a snob that I have to have new books. And finally second hand. Particularly when in good condition, because that is second hand. And it looks pretty much new. There's like twenty P of books in this job lot. Ugh, oh, it's a message to me. Just hold on a quick second. Right, it's something that I need to work harder on because I want to be a good example for kids. And for anyone who says that manga isn't real reading, you read them Japanese, mate. It's hard work. That's where my dyslexia really shines in reading names. I hate it when I publish the name. Anyway. Next. 
Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest and it feels like a little someone has. Yep, there's a little something because that needs a green. Anyway, uh, Thousand Year Quest Volume 9, 100 Year Quest Volume 9 by uh, Tyrone Mashima, or however you pronounce it. I don't want to give away too many spoilers for anyone who's likely to read it because this is a good series. I do highly recommend it. Obviously, starting off from Baron Tale Volume 1 in the original series. If you've come across the anime, this is the point where they end up in Ethelus. They've recently gone to a similar world to Ethelus. And um, they're on the edge of being a chew toy to a dragon. Oh yeah, and some of our most beloved characters get turned into monster versions of themselves, including Eartha. This is not her monster version, which is a shame, in a way, because I loved her monster version. Sadly, it didn't stay around long enough. It was only like two panels. I was like, dude. And yes, that is Aquarius. She does make a comeback. I'm trying to talk about. I kind of knew she was going to come back at some point, but it's like, her master is when. I do actually need to look at this one. Is of course a pop up's appeared on my screen. It's be gone if our demon never pop up. Next! This is actually by the same dude as the previous one, because the guy apparently doesn't need sleep or anything. If he has a party, they are seriously understanding. This guy is constantly working on stuff. Um, Eden Zero Volume 14. The cast is actually very misleading because these two. They don't make an appearance. Uh, Very quickly, I'm scratching my teeth. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Those are robots, lots of fun. Um, this series, in a way, is quite reminiscent of. Um, it's a bit like a cross between Fairy Tale and One Piece. Hey! gonna go back to sleepy. Oh, I got my little snuggle bug. I know it's out and loud, but he's awake. It's not gonna make any difference now. But yeah, um, fairy tale one piece in the whole that in one piece we go from one island to another, deal with problems, move on to the next island. Bit like that's got that sort of feel to it. Like I said, it says islands, it's planet, so it's got like that whole there's a planet problem, deal with problem, move on, but with the vibe of fairy tale behind it. So, in a way, it feels very familiar, but also new and exciting. And then I have my brick. Got your attention, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> you know you're cute. Okay. Basic formula of the story: a group of friends, a group of people who play an online game, meets up in real life for the first time, and discover the, and they get knocked out, and they find themselves locked in this building. And basically, they got to try and work out who amongst them is the killer. Because of course, people start dying. Like I said, this is the final half of it. And I thought I knew who the killer was right from the get go, and I was right. Let's not say it was obvious, but I personally don't think it was. I was like, it'd be so cool if it was. 
Sterling Stout, and it was. Because I... They had someone in it who, like, right from the get-go screamed, I'm the killer. And I'm like, it can't be. Please don't let it be that. Because if it is, that's so lazy. That'd be so annoying. And, no. But they actually were, I didn't necessarily see coming, which was pleasant. And, uh, even though I was right about who the bad guy was, I was wrong about certain aspects of it. Which was nice, too. Because, obviously, when it's a mystery, you don't want it to be too in-your-face, screaming, screaming, I know who did it. But, like, uh, when they did the big reveal, like, right up at the end, and, like, the bad guy's gonna walk through this door, and you're gonna see who the actual puppet master is. I'm like, I know who that is. It's going to be. Yes, it was. Oh, very rewarding. I was actually starting to worry that maybe I was wrong with how they'd done it all. Mm, tasty, delicious. If you like a bit of horror, they actually call it a psychological horror. Beautifully done. Loved it. So much so that I've already tracked down the authors. Uh, Yoshiki uh, Kenogi the next work which is along the same lines why don't you just hold my phone hmm? if you're going to kill it just hold it um, yeah apparently it's along the same lines I haven't looked too much into it because I don't want spoils I really enjoyed the first book so I'm hoping that's be really good too I going to be working on? As soon as I get this little cheek chop back to sleep, hopefully you'll be very soon. Why not, man? Maybe a good boy and go sleep his night on. You look horribly awake right now. He's not nap properly today, so please. Look at nap. He's actually not as bald as he looks. He's got tons of hair. It's just so fair. It's not like it's even fine. He's got tons of it. It's just so fair. It looks like it's not there. Looks like you're going to be blonde. Like me and your sister. You're in the family. Yeah, I'm going to try and get this one to sleep. And then I'll try and get some steps in. Gotta hit that fire. Careful. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to 100 stitch them, but that's just 100. That's all I'm gonna go for. Um, maybe even read a book. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I think I'll prioritize stitching over the bookie book. You did that on purpose, didn't you? No, I can see the evil inside that cute little mind. Hmm. Not as sweet and innocent as people think, are you? Yeah. You're evil. But I love you. The kitchen roll right here, and he's obsessed with it. I've got this big pack of kitchen rolls, like eight or something. And he must kill at least half of them. The right guy, I mean. Right, stitchy stitch. ready, so then I can just work on it, is still in the drawer and I'm not going to go get it, I'm sorry, but it's a big picture of a line. 
How's this work? I mean, in absolutely no particular order. Oh, thanks, darling. <coughs> Feel better then. Why does that smell fishy? Oh yeah, you did actually have a bit of smell, didn't you? Right, you just puked on me. Yeah, would you have had kids? The things that gross you out change. If I have less than two bodily fluids on me at any particular time, I'm doing good. Yeah, that could be something as simple as like tears and drivel. Or as gross as poo and pee. If I only have two on me, I need to because I'm, I'm doing good. Yay. <sighs> Babies are gross. See, he has the kitchen on. Anyway. Now that he's finished redecorating. First, we have this teapot. Magazine. I would attempt to show it a bit better, but my hands are full of the demonic force. Who's not going to press the mouse? Then I've got this sweet little home sweet home, which would look lovely in my hallway. I've got like no stitching hanging up. I need Oh, I love that bee. I need to do that bee, but I won't do it with a pillow. I'm not stitching pillows. That's just tempting fate. Um, that's part three of that three-parter. I honestly still don't know if I have part two. Got the dig up thingy. What's this? Oh, it's a bookmark. The cute, they said. Feel better, right? I've been to the face. Feel better? Yeah, yeah, you're not that bad if you can smile like that. You're fine if you can smile like that. Right, little man. Oh, you've gotten a bit too hot. No, I actually feel cold. I suppose I'm hot. I'm not cold, cold, but cooler than I was expecting. So the kids have been ill too. But annoyingly enough, they bounced back before me. <laughs> And this is where I actually need to find a Christmas tree. Kitty it. I think it's our dad somewhere. Somewhere she has cause that's part two. And the Christmas tree's got part one. Yeah. Where's that? Poor, poor um you don't have to touch everything, you know. Um, Queen's Guard. Those poor dudes. If I had to deal with tourists like they do, I'd probably just shoot them. I'd probably just go to my service too long to have patience. Like, 
see some people leave the carry videos, like the staff having to deal with them and every credit to them, how they don't just tell them where to stick it in graphically, I don't know. And it's amazing how the power of the page actually keeps your mouth shut. Next. It would shock me if 100 stitches would actually finish off the leaves. Because, oh yeah, I'm only going to do 100 stitches of these at a time. These little Christmas mice's. Little mice's and mice's. Dang it. What do you think about the Christmas mice's and mice's? They're cute. Very cute, aren't they? His hands busy. Ooh, yeah, look at the Christmas mice and mice's. Stitch your hands away. We all need to stitch them. Little, like one of those mini deputy pillowy thingies. Next. Yeah, I got a selection here. Oh, pardon me. the Christmas one and an individual card. Pretty sure hello. Hello. Pretty sure that I've got the rest of them. And the thingy. We shall see. Then and this is the last one I promise. Christmas. Yep, that's it. Like I say, there's also that line with hello. That was a birthday, Chris, uh, birthday present a year or two ago. Or Christmas present, one or the other, I don't know. I'm slow since. Well, I say slow. I sure that's a good thing about being so ill. It's giving me a chance to get some sleep even. Oh yeah, the radio. Well, I should see the radio is literally right there. I lay in bed and I'm gonna get scorched, aren't I? If I lay in bed, I'm gonna get scorched. So, yeah. Okay. I've not already done too well on my plans over the last week. I'm gonna try and do a bit better. This week, it's now quarter past ten. Oh. On the 31st of January. Can you believe it? It's the end of January. Jesus, why's the year going already? Oh, I'm making some noise in there. Even though you're definitely growing up too fast, I'm not giving you any of that. As much as I'd like to stunt your growth. Not happening. So yeah, my lovelies. Oh, I'm gonna skedaddle. As always, it's a pleasure, never a chore. Lovely to see you all. And feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you all very soon. Bye.